My name is Alexander Pym. I'm an investigator here at uh, Kairith KwaZulu-Natal Research Institute for TB and HIV. So tell me about the project you're working on to come up with better ways to detect drug-resistant tuberculosis. This morning we were at yeah. the hospital where there's tons of MDR yeah. and XDR. What's the problem that you're trying to solve? So we want to get people on the best treatment as quickly as possible. And the problem is the tests we have available at the moment take two to three months and are not very uh, well, well developed. And so for two or three months, you have to treat patients with drugs you don't know whether they're gonna work or not. You may be treating them with five drugs that work, or you may be treating them with five that don't. And as a result of this, patients can die uh, or, deve or, or develop further resistance. So we're trying to, we're trying to develop a, a rapid, comprehensive resistance test so that a patient can walk into the hospital, we can do the test, and then within a week or a few days, we can give them the best possible treatment. What's your strategy? How, how are you going about developing yeah. something that yeah. doesn't exist? And what, you have a lot of equipment here that doesn't exist in many places in Africa. Yeah. What are you gonna do? We're working on the genetic code of drug resistance. So instead of growing the, the bacteria in, in the presence of drugs, which takes a long time, we're trying to figure out the barcode of resistance. Drug resistance arises because of a mutation and then you use sequencing equipment and you come up with a barcode of uh, resistance. And if we can figure out where the mutations are and who has them, we'll be able to tell immediately who is resistant or not. One of the limitations of uh, working on TB is you have to work in a highly controlled environment because TB is spread, by, spread in the air. So if I'm carrying a culture with one of these potentially deadly strains and I drop it on the ground, then uh, I can infect you. One of the great things about Kairith is that uh, we have some of the best BSL-3s in South Africa, if, if not in Africa. We're really focusing in an area where we have XDR uh, and the epidemic's unfolding in front of our eyes. And so we're in a great position to take something we find in the lab and test it immediately in the clinic. We can find a new mutation, uh, and we can figure out these strains are resistant to this drug, and then I can go to King Dina Zulu Hospital on a Wednesday and say, hey, look guys, uh, you, shouldn't be, you, you can use capriomycin in these patients because we found out actually they're susceptible, or vice versa. You shouldn't be using this drug uh, because actually we know, it's resistant. we know these bugs are resistant. And so we can get that feedback between lab uh, and clinic, which is really what I think makes Kairith uh, unique. Um, we have some new drugs and we're, we're recycling some old drugs and I think in the next two to three years we will be able to dramatically shorten treatment for drug resistance from 18 months to two years what it is now down to we hope nine months or six months. That, that will really make a big impact on, on treating, treating drug resistance. You need this new testing to go hand in hand. Exactly, with exactly. And particularly as we introduce new drugs, we need to be able to rapidly monitor if someone's become resistant to them. And that's where I think this, these new genetic tools will really be of benefit as well.